Hey buddies, what's up? Welcome back to another amazing episode of Lumi's Lab. So guys, in this amazing episode, we are going to discuss celebs with truly bizarre addictions. Are you guys excited? So let's get started. Keep up with me till the end, comment right below this video, subscribe if you still haven't, and turn on post notifications for more videos. Number 1. Celebs with truly bizarre addictions A-list stars may be rich, they may have the world at their fingertips, they may be successful beyond comprehension, and yet even celebrities have weird habits. Take Nicole Snooki Polisi, for example, who once told Conan O'Brien via Today that she regularly used clean cat litter to exfoliate her face. Lady Gaga once confessed to Ellen DeGeneres that she has a tendency to skip the PJs after an event and just fall asleep in whatever she happens to be wearing. And if you're familiar with Mother Monster style, you know she doesn't exactly don the coziest of ensembles. Robert Pattinson gets a kick out of straight up lying to reporters, even admitting in GQ that he has a tendency to spin yarns in interviews. And of course, there are the stars who have truly odd addictions. No, we are not going to dive deep into celebrities who have struggled with life-threatening addictions or risky habits. Instead, we are going to focus on celebrities who have peculiar obsessions and impassioned interests that are funny as they are fun. Number 2. Shay Mitchell is never without a bottle of hot sauce Pretty Little Liar star Shay Mitchell loves to give whatever she's eating a little kick by carrying around her favorite hot sauce in her purse. The actor has an addiction to hot sauce, specifically Sriracha Hot Chili Sauce, and can easily be called their number one fan, telling Delish, I put it on everything. In 2017, the actor's assistant Sammy Rosenman spoke with people and shared the essential items she has with her at all times when with Mitchell. Rosenman said she likes this trifecta of hot sauce depending on what she's eating. There's a chili oil from Africa that we fly in, there's Tabasco, and then there's Sriracha. It's an interview from the strategist for New York Magazine. Mitchell shared that certain things she can't live without included a portable charger, lip balm, and of course, her hot sauce, stating my food is just a vessel for my hot sauce. Mitchell also celebrates her addiction to hot sauce on Instagram. She shared a photo of packets of shiracha sauce and wrote, they finally got all my letters. Happy National Hot Sauce Day, also known as my personal holiday. Number 3. Scarlett Johansson will order the wings. In 2010's Iron Man 2, Scarlett Johansson made her debut as Black Widow, a member of the Avengers. So how does one prepare for the role of a superhero? As noted in The Hollywood Reporter, Johansson took on a strict workout and diet that incorporates Olympic weightlifting and gymnastics work to get in comic book heroin shape. Speaking about her intense workouts, she shared with Fox 411, the training is crazy, but you just suck it up and do it. There is a lot of strength training and agility training in fight choreography. You go in and you just do it. However, when the actor isn't in the gym, breaking a sweat or sticking to a diet, Johansson revealed that she indulges in her chicken wings addiction. While talking about her hard work becoming the Black Widow, she also told Fox 411, Oh my god, I am obsessed with buffalo chicken wings. I am addicted to them, you will have to roll me down to red carpet next time you see me. Talking about her favorite food must have made Johansson's mouth water, as she stated after her interview, I can't stop eating them, I just can't get enough. Number 4. Emma Watson and Hermione Granger aren't so different Emma Watson and Hermione Granger have a great deal in common. Not unlike her driven and academia-obsessed Harry Potter character, Watson has shared that she has an addiction to knowledge and continued her education while making films. Her access, the actor once said, I love learning, I'm just addicted to knowledge. It just likes, makes me happy, it keeps me motivated. In 2010, Watson was promoting Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 and attending Brown University in Rhode Island at the same time. Although being in the beloved films allowed her to learn about all parts of the world and work with acting greats like late Alan Rickman, Severus Snape, and Gary Oldman's Serious Whack, it still wasn't enough for Watson. She said, I don't think that by doing these movies, I know everything. I just feel like that that's the point of being alive, to try and understand the world that's around you, and it just keeps me in touch with real life. So guys, this was all about today's video. Share as much as you can, as that really motivates us to create more content for you guys. With this, we end our video today.